Welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Rob, and today we're going to be going over the Trimble SX-10 scanning total stations, field calibrations, and collimations. Specifically, we'll be going over the telecamera, autofocus adjustment, and automatic camera collimations. Let's start off by connecting to our SX-10 and leveling up. Once we're connected, go to Instrument, hit Adjust, and you'll see the list of adjustments here. Let's start with the compensator calibration. The rest of the ones below need the compensator calibration to be done before you can move on. The compensator calibration only takes a couple minutes, but greatly increases the effectiveness of the collimations preceding it. All right, our calibration is complete. Now we can move on to the telecamera autofocus and hit next. And as you can see, I've got a backside set pretty far away. But right now we're going to be working on the cameras. And these are just for your personal use on the TSC-7 itself. So what you see on the screen, this is what you're adjusting for. Now before we start the telecamera autofocus calibration, we're going to want to find something that we can focus on. We've got this sign here. It's got some good edges. Uh, it's white background with black lettering, so it'll work just fine. So let's center up on it. And we've got some current values here, but we've got to get a little closer to adjust the autofocus. So. Once you get in close, you can move into the manual adjustment, which allows you to tap back and forth and kind of test what looks good and what doesn't. As it gets blurrier, you're going to want to back it off and come the other way. And it looks like 53 is a little better. So go ahead and accept that. The instrumental switch face and you're going to want to do that again. Now it started off on 153 and I'm still going to check back and forth see if it still gets a little blurry left or right of 53 and it looks like it's okay at 53. As you can see we've got the old values on face 1 and 2 and the new values on face 1 and 2. And it looks like it adjusted it by a negative 1 on each. Okay, hit store and we can move on to the automatic camera collimation. Hit next. All right, it looks like we start out in the overview camera on that drop down screen on the right. So we're going to want to back out all the way to the overview and let's find something a little closer. Uh, a little closer. Let's see. I'm going to let's choose something that's going to fail. So I see a sign over here that isn't squared up. It's uh, you know diamond shape, square on its side, whatever you want to call it. But the edges are outside of our collimation box. So it's getting some of the background. It says it's at a good distance. It gives me a green box, but this is ultimately going to fail. Um, especially because it's in a median and there's cars passing by in front of the camera. I'm sure there's a large truck that's going to pass by. Yep, there we go. There are some problems matching images. All right, let's uh, choose something a little closer and a little safer. So I've got this sign here. And it looks like it's about the right size where I'm not going to be getting any of the background. It's not in the median, so it's not getting as many heat waves from the pavement. And it's got some clear lines on it. I think this is going to be safe. We're at 30 meters. All right. Oh, and our old values are here. And we've got a negative uh, 0.1 pixel adjustment on the horizontal. All right. Hit accept. And we can move on. Now we have to do that three times, uh, so we're going into our second one on the automatic camera collimation. Uh, the next one is our primary camera, and so we're going to want to zoom in to our primary camera, 
and it looks like we might be able to stick with this sign so I'm gonna hit next and let's find some good um, good spot to focus on here I think we're gonna want something with a little bit more horizontal and vertical lines even though that box is pretty small I think we can get this alright and we do both faces and we've got a new value of negative 0.4 pixels on the vertical collimation so that worked alright let's go to the last one here automatic col camera collimation hit next and let's go to the telecamera alright so uh, it needs a minimum of 50 meters and we're at 30 obviously I'm not going to be getting a whole lot of uh, definition inside that little box so we're gonna have to let's get out of here and zoom in quite far and see if we can find anything with good definition oh, I see the sign I was focused on to to do the uh, manual focus so let's uh, let's choose there you go uh, some vertical and horizontal lines and hit next it'll calibrate and it looks like we had a bit of an adjustment uh, in the horizontal and quite a bit of an adjustment in the vertical so alright we can go ahead and hit accept and that's it uh, you've just adjusted the telecamera autofocus and the automatic camera collimation thank you for watching and join us next time for another tech talk